In this presentation, we will work a problem related to overhead variance. Our information will be up top. We'll be entering that information into the blue areas below. That information up top will be actual machine hours used, or AH, 5,200 hours. Then we've got the standard machine hours for actual production will be represented with SH, 5,800 hours. Then we've got the actual variable overhead rate per hour, AVR, representing that is going to be 4.85 and the standard variable overhead rate per hour represented with SVR 4.75. If we break this out then we're going to say we have the actual cost which will be AH. AH is the actual uh, machine hours used and we'll have the actual hours times the AVR which will be the actual variable overhead rate. So these are going to be the actual numbers and uh, the, let's put the AVR here and let's make this a capital H and so the actual machine hours I'm going to say is equal to the 5200 in our data and the AVR which is the actual variable overhead rate per hour is going to be the 4.85 then if we were to multiply those two out we're going to say that the 5200 times the 4.85 will be the 25,220 then on the standard side, the projected type side, we're going to have the SH, which is the standard machine hours for actual production. Let's go ahead and put that number in, which will be equal to that 5,800. And then we've got the SRV S or SVR, which is the standard variable overhead rate per hour SVR. We're going to take that from our data up top. So that'll be the 4.75. So we have the actual numbers. We have the standard numbers, kind of like the actual what actually happened. The standard similar to the budget or what should happen at normal capacity or under normal conditions. So if we multiply this out, the 5,800 times the 4.75, then the difference between those two, we're going to say is here. I'm going to make it a positive number by saying this equals the larger 27,550 minus the smaller 25,220. Uh, and that's going to give us the 2,330. This is the total variable overhead cost variance. So this is the total difference that we have between the two. We took the actual numbers. We took the standards. The difference between the two is kind of like the difference between the budget versus uh, what we project what to actually happened. And therefore, it's going to be the difference. Now, is this going to be favorable or not favorable? Well, the actual is greater than the standard. I mean, the actual is less than the standard. So what actually happened is less than what we expected to happen or what we think should happen under normal conditions. That's good for overhead. So we're going to say that's a favorable difference. So let's check this one more time. We're going to do the same kind of calculation. However, this time we'll do it more in a, in a standard kind of traditional way where we would probably write it down on a piece of paper of this format. The actual overhead, of course, is going to be the actual overhead calculated as actual machine hours used. The AH, I'm going to bring this into the inner column pulling the same numbers down just so we could see it in this format the 5200 this may be the way you might write it down in a problem more likely you know if you're trying to calculate these numbers typically we would write it something in this format but if you can use this format up top that's an easy visual way to see it as well and so then we're going to take the actual variable overhead rate per hour AVR so this is going to be equal to the 4.85 We'll take those two numbers, multiply them out. This is equal to the 5,200 times the 4.85. And of course, that will be the total actual overhead. So that's going to be our total actual overhead. This item calculated just in a, a vertical type fashion. Now we'll take the applied overhead. So the applied overhead is going to be the standard machine hours for actual production so standard machine hours for actual that's going to be the sh i'm going to say this equals and we'll point to that uh, 5800 so the 5800 and we'll take that and the second component will be the standard variable overhead rate uh, per hour the svr and we're going to say that it's going to be this number and so we'll just multiply those out in the same fashion as we did up top. We're going to say that this equals the 5,800 times the 475. 
that giving the 27,550, that's going to be our, put this here while I'm going, the total applied overhead. And then if we add those two up, we're going to get, or the variance between the two, I should say, will be the total overhead cost variance. And again, I'm going to take the larger number here minus the smaller number there. And then we got the, the kind of vertical type of format of, of this pictorial format up here. It's kind of nice to see it in this pictorial format. Here's going to be um, the, the vertical format, which we might see more in if we were working this and actually putting these calculations together. It's easier to write in this format typically. So now we're going to add another condition, another component to it. We're going to be calculating the variable overhead spending variance and the variable overhead efficiency variance, which will add up to the total variable overhead cost variance. We'll do that in a pictorial fashion here. So we've once again got the actual cost and the standard. We've done that in essence up here. So this is going to be the same information. I'll pull it down. We're going to say that this equals the AH, same information. This equals the 5,200. This equals the AVR. And this equals the 485, same information. We multiply that out. We get the 5,200 times the 4.85. That gives us the 25,220, same information as up top. We'll do the same for the standard because that's the same as we got up top as well. So the SH is going to be this SH. And then this is going to be equal to the same 8, 000, or 5,800. This side will be the SVR, SVR, and it will be the uh, 475. Multiplying those two out then, the 5,800 times the 4.75 being the 27,550. So then we're going to add the new item in the middle here. And then this item we're going to say it's the AH and the uh, SVR, SVR. So the AH, remember the AH is the actual machine hours used. So we're taking the actual machine hours and the SVR is the standard variable uh, overhead rate. So we've got, we compared before the actual to the standard and now we're taking the actual machine hours and the standard variable overhead rate. So let's multiply those out or let's bring the numbers in first. Well, this one's gonna be equal to the AH the 5.2, and this is equal to the same 4.75, the SVR. If we multiply that out then, we're going to say this equals the 5,200 times the 4.75, we get 27,000, uh, 24,700. Then we're going to subtract these two out, so we'll subtract these two out. This equals, I'm going to take the larger number, 25,220 minus the 24,700. And, that can, and that's going to give us the 520. Now, now, if we consider this calculation, we can look at these two calculations and we can see what's the same and what is different. So the AH and the uh, AH, of course, are the same. The AVR and the SVR are what is different. If we look up top, the AVR is the actual variable overhead rate per hour. And the SVR is the standard overhead rate per hour. So given those two, the actual variable overhead rate is greater than the standard variable overhead rate and that's going to be unfavorable so we're going to say that's an unfavorable difference now we'll do this on this side over here we're going to take the difference between these two items we're going to say this equals i'm taking the larger number the standard 27550 minus the 24700 and we're going to do our same kind of thought process here if we take a look at these two calculations the thing that is the same now is the svr and the svr the thing that's different is the ah and the sh if we look up top, the AH is the actual machine hours and the SH is the standard machine hours. So between those two, the standard is uh, greater than the actual. So what actually happened is less. That's good. That's a favorable difference. So now we're going to recap this information down below. We're going to say that this is going to be a variable overhead spending variance. That is going to be equal to the 520. And the other one is what we are going to call the variable overhead efficiency variance that's going to be equal to the 2580 if we take the difference between those two one favorable one a unfavorable 
we're going to say this equals the 2850 minus the 520. That'll give us our 2330 matching the 2330 here for the total overhead cost variance matching the 2330 here total overhead cost variance.